Rochester is a city that's full of surprises. You never know what you're going to find around the next corner. We know when most people think of this place, they think of winters that seem to last forever and the Kodak film plant that's been closed for years. While those things are part of the city's history, Rochester is a lot more than that. There are plenty of things to do, both in the winter and summer months. This amazing city has something for everyone. So be sure to check out this list of the 10 best places in Rochester. Number 10. The Strong National Museum of Play is a must-see for anyone who wants to learn more about the power of play. It's one of the largest museums of its kind in the world, and it's dedicated to the history and exploration of play. There's something for everyone here. Whether you're a kid or an adult, you can wander through galleries that feature games from all different cultures, stop by the circus exhibit, or learn about the history of toys. And if that's not enough, there's also a movie theater, a playground, and a gift shop. The museum is open Tuesday through Sunday, and admission is free for kids under two years old. Number 9. Seneca Park Zoo is a place you can't regret choosing if you're looking for a fun day out. This place is home to more than 2,000 animals from around the world, so you're sure to see something new every time you go. Seneca Park Zoo is also a great place for kids with plenty of interactive exhibits and activities. And if you get hungry or thirsty, there's no need to worry. The zoo has plenty of restaurants and cafes to choose from. So what are you waiting for? Pack your bags and head on over to Rochester for an unforgettable adventure at the Seneca Park Zoo. Number 8. Frontier Field is the home of the Rochester Red Wings, the AAA affiliate of the Minnesota Twins. And if you're a baseball fan, this is a must-visit place for you. But even if you're not into sports, the stadium offers plenty of other attractions. There's a playground for the kids, a carousel, and a beer garden for the adults. You can also check out the team's museum, which is packed with memorabilia from throughout the stadium's history. And if you're in town during the off-season, don't worry. The stadium is open for tours year-round. So if you're looking for a fun day out with the family, make sure to put Frontier Field on your list. Number 7. The Erie Canal Trail is a perfect option for the fellows looking for a place to wander and enjoy the great outdoors. This scenic trail follows the route of the Erie Canal, and it's perfect for biking, walking, running, or just taking a stroll. The trail is well maintained and offers some pretty amazing views of the countryside. It's also a great way to get some exercise and take in all that nature has to offer. So if you're looking for something fun to do in Rochester, the Erie Canal Trail is worth checking out. Number 6. Highland Park is a beautiful green oasis in the middle of the city and it's the perfect spot for a relaxing walk or a picnic lunch. A visit to Rochester without checking out this amazing place, trust me, can't make your tour more enjoyable. 
The park is home to some of Rochester's most iconic landmarks, including the Susan B. Anthony House and the Frederick Douglass Monument. It's also a popular spot for concerts and events, so be sure to check out the schedule and see what's happening while you're in town. Number 5. George Eastman Museum is a place you'll want to check out if you're looking for a great museum to visit while in Rochester. It's dedicated to the art and history of photography, and it has one of the largest collections of photographic equipment in the world. But that's not all. The George Eastman Museum also has a pretty impressive film archive, with more than 2 million titles. They even have a section on motion pictures that are dedicated to independent filmmakers. So if you're into movies at all, this is definitely the place for you. Number 4. Rochester Public Market can be a fun place to go and have a good time while in Rochester. It's one of the largest public markets in the country, and it's home to all sorts of amazing vendors. The market has plenty to offer. You can find produce, meats, cheeses, flowers, and so much more at the Rochester Public Market. And if you're feeling hungry, there are plenty of food stalls to choose from. The market is open every day of the week and it's a great place to spend a few hours browsing around. Number 3. National Susan B. Anthony Museum and House should be at the top of your list if you're planning to visit Rochester. This is the place where Susan B. Anthony lived and worked for more than 40 years. It's fascinating to walk through the museum and see how her work evolved. You can also see some of her personal belongings, like her voting machine and furniture. And if you're lucky, you might be able to catch a tour guide in the middle of giving a presentation. They do a great job of bringing Susan B. Anthony's life and work to life. Number 2. Casa Larga Vineyards is a place we highly recommend if you're looking for a place to visit in Rochester, New York. It's one of the most popular tourist destinations in the area, and for good reason. The vineyards are located on a beautiful property that overlooks Seneca Lake. The estate has been in the family for centuries, and they produce some of the finest wines in the state. Not only is it a great place to drink wine, but they also have a delicious restaurant on site. The food is locally sourced, and they have a huge menu with something for everyone. They also offer wine tastings and tours of the vineyards, so it's definitely worth checking out.
Number 1. The Memorial Art Gallery is home to a wide variety of artwork, from paintings and sculptures to textiles and ceramics. It's definitely worth a visit if you're interested in art, or if you just want to take a break from the city streets. The Memorial Art Gallery is located in the heart of Rochester, and it's open Tuesday through Sunday. Admission is free for all visitors, so you can explore at your leisure. And if you're feeling hungry, the Gallery Cafe serves up some delicious meals and snacks.